Hello guys, welcome to another tutorial session. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install WordPress on Ugoost. Ugoost is one of the best hosting platforms in Nigeria. So in this video, I'm going to show you the process by which I install WordPress on Ugoost and um, the things I like to do during this process. Um, before we start this tutorial, I will advise you to get your domain name and hosting from Ugoost. All you have to do is to search for your domain name here and you buy the hosting. So let's get straight into the tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go to Ugoos.ng, just on your, on your um, title bar, just search for URL bar on your browser, just enter Ugoos.ng. Next thing I'm going to do is to click on my account. Then I'll enter my email. Then after that, I enter my password. Then after that, I'll just click on login. So let's wait for it to load. So it's going to bring you into this um, client area, um, Ugo's client area. So you see the your name, then all the other um, address that is here. So um, the what you are going to click on is the services. Just scroll down, click on services. Now you see, you scroll down, you see um, Linux hosting um, premium. Yeah, just click on it. Once you click on it, just scroll down. You can either um, on the left hand side, find um, login to cPanel. Can you see it? One click login to cPanel. Or you can just scroll down, you see it here. So left hand side or here. So for me, I just click here. So login to cPanel. So we're going to wait for it to log in into the cPanel um, interface. Yeah, yeah, so we're in the cPanel interface. So the first thing I'm going to do once I get here, before I install WordPress, is to go to, um, is to go to software, click on um, multiple PH, multi PHP manager. So as you can see, the website is showing PHP 5.6. It's always advisable for you to change the PHP version because most plugins will not work with this version. So what I like to do is to click on this, then select this and scroll down and select 7.4. I think 7.4 is at least the best you can do for now or the least you can do for now. So click on apply, wait for it. So it's loading. All right, you can see successful. Can you see it now? We have PHP 7.4. The next thing I'm going to do is just click on this cPanel logo, or I can just go back, but I'll click on cPanel logo. It take me back to the cPanel homepage. So after that, I'll scroll down. The next thing you're going to do is to go to the same software, click on multi a PHP in the editor. So you select location. Now you can select home directory, you can select the website. Most times I prefer selecting the website. So just click on pauldesign.site, which is my website. Then there are some things I would like to change here. So just click on change this to 300 max execution time to 300. Then the postmark size, I can change this to 128. Then the last option here, this is the upload limit. So if you don't change this, you won't be able to upload anything above 2 MB, which is crazy so um i'm going to change this to let me just change it to 128 or so then i click on apply so once we're done we go back to the interface home page by clicking on cpanel here then we'll scroll down to the end of the page where you see scripts so Taculos apps installer click on wordpress So you scroll, so once you click on this, just click on install. So you enter your um, website URL. So now we have HTTP, HTTPS. So for this video, I'm just going to do HTTP because HTTPS is not automatically installed when you are hosting with Ugo, um, Ugo host. So I'm going to show you in another video how to install free SSL um, from on Ugo host. So you change this in directory, you delete WP. So um, next thing you enter your site name, all design, 
and that is okay wordpress tutorials so here you enter your username and password this username and password is very important it's very important you save it so for me it's going to be admin then the password is whatever you want to to uh, make the password whatever you want to use sorry then the email the email is where you'll be getting your notifications from wordpress from uh where you'll be getting your notification from wordpress so once you're done um one thing i like to do in my own opinion is to select classic editor if you're a blog editor person you can uninstall on tick this but for me i like to install classic editor because a lot of plugins and teams i use um they are not they have issues with the blog editor from wordpress so and you can also install limit login attempt this is a good security um measure to, pre to prevent um some attacks from your website so once you're done um just check the settings again check the site name make sure you save the username and password please it's very important um then once you're done just scroll down to the end of the page and click on install let's wait for it now as you can see we had an error which is there's something on the website on our file manager that is stopping wordpress from installing so all you just have to do, don't be scared, is to click on this select the checkbox. Just tick on it, then click on, just scroll down again and click on install. Confirm the information once again and click on install. So it's going to take care of that issue itself. All right, so the installation is successful. You see, congratulations, the software has, was installed successfully. Then from here, all you have to do is to click on administrative URL, just click on this. It's going to open it in a new tab. So just wait for it to load, it's going to take you to the WordPress dashboard. Yeah, so super catch warning, all these issues, just dismiss this for now. So um, basically that's how to install WordPress on Google Host. Um, please just make sure you do all those prerequisites so that you won't have issues installing plugins and teams and all those things. So I hope this was very helpful. Um, if you have any suggestion or if you have any issues while watching this tutorial, kindly drop a comment below. I'm going to try to try and reply as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.